Hello and welcome back to the Royal Australian Mint School Tour. Now if you haven't seen any of our previous videos, I would highly recommend going back and watching those. Last time we talked about our changeover, how we went in 1966 from pounds, shillings and pence to dollars and cents. Now our coins that we released in 1966, they're not the same as the coins that we have today. We've made some changes since then. The very first change we made has to do with this coin here. This was our original 50 cent piece. Now, can you spot what's wrong with it? Maybe? Yeah? It's round, right? Your 50 cent piece isn't round anymore. Your 50 cent piece, in fact, is a dodecagon. It has 12 sides. Now, there are two reasons that we had to change our round 50 cent piece. Number one being that it was really hard to tell the difference between your round 50 and your 20 cent piece. They're very, very similar in size and shape. The second issue though, was that the round 50 cent coin wasn't made out of the copper and nickel alloy that the rest of our silver coins were made out of. They were instead made out of 80% silver. Now silver is more expensive than copper and nickel. So it meant that this coin was worth a whole lot more than 50 cents which meant that as soon as the public realized, everybody started to hoard this coin, which wasn't very good because we, you know, we want to use 50 cent coins in circulation. So we decided in 1969, we were going to re-release our 50 cent coin, giving it 12 sides and making it out of the metal we made all the other silver coins out of in the first place. The next changes came in the 80s. Now, when we released our original coins, we didn't release the one and two dollar coins with them. Instead, we released notes. This here is a one dollar note. And this here is a two dollar note. Now, originally our notes were made out of a sort of paper. Now I want you to imagine a piece of paper, any sort of paper. How easily can you rip that? really easily, right? And if that piece of paper goes through the wash, it's gonna completely disintegrate. Now I want you to imagine that that piece of paper has a value and that you could have bought some lollies with it at the shops. Would you be a little bit upset if you put that through the wash? Probably, right? Coins on the other hand, they last for a really, really long time. Our $1 coin that we released in 1984 that can last for up to 30 years. So can our $2 coin that we released in 1988. Now, I know that we added some coins, but we actually got rid of some as well in the early 90s. We originally had a two cent coin that featured a frilled neck lizard and a one cent coin, one of my favorites, that has a feathered tailed glider on it. We got rid of these because by the early 90s, everything had increased in price significantly. So it kind of meant that we didn't really need these anymore. You used to be able to go down to the corner shop and buy yourself a whole ton of lollies for about three cents. Nowadays, a pack of lollies is gonna cost you what, $5? So you would need literally 500 one cent pieces to buy yourself your lollies and that would be very heavy to carry. So we don't want that anymore. We asked for all these back in 1992, and then we did something special with them. We kept them, and we waited, and then in the year 2000, we melted these coins down and turned them into the bronze medals for the Sydney Olympic Games, which is pretty cool. Now, we didn't stop there. We actually, we've changed some of our designs on our coins since all that. We add commemorative designs, we add color, we make our coins look really, really fun, and we also make them really good to collect. This coin here is from 2012, and it has a red poppy on it. This was the very first $2 coin that we put color on. We also add, added some pretty cool designs such as this one here. This is Mr. Squiggle. He's also behind me. We love Mr. Squiggle here. 
We also have build a steam shovel that we put on a coin. We have blackboard and we have Gus the snail. But we don't just put fun designs on the $2 coins. This here is from 2005. It's a $1 coin and this commemorates 60 years since the end of World War II. This one here is a 50 cent piece from 2019 which commemorates the year of indigenous languages. And last but not least, this is a coin from 2001 that was designed by someone from a high school in Western Australia to commemorate the centenary of Australia's Federation. And it has Bilby on it. I really love Bilbies. Now, if like me, you enjoy looking at coins and you want to keep them safe, you want to keep them secure, you can head on to the Royal Australian Mint website and you can see a whole ton of different collectors folders. There are ones for 20 cent pieces, ones for 50 cent pieces, ones for $1 coins. You can put them in there once you find them all and keep them safe as part of your collection. If you want to know more about some of our coins, you can head on to our website. We'll put the link in the description for you. Thank you for watching and we hope you join us next time when we head into our factory.